Hey everyone, Merix here, bringing you another video. This one is going to be on Cesaro, the Swiss Cyborg. We have mutants in the game, Cesaro is the chase, and he looks incredible. I love the look, the move animations you're going to see, they're amazing, like super, super cool. A lot of fun, uh, and games should be fun, and Cesaro is. Uh, so let's take a look. He has a few links. He's got WrestleMania 35 and 36. He's got the Mutants link, any color move. Starting MP reduced by 3 for your opponent. And Modern Era Gems do 5% more damage. I think the Mutants link uh, potentially could see a lot in Showdown. Um, and could be fairly effective tag link. So I think you'll probably see that a decent amount. He has the one gear, the Swiss Cyborg gear. I want to say um, we haven't had a Trickster Chase mail card since edge i believe and that's been like a year and a half so i was pretty excited to see we had a trickster chase um i would tell you i would chase him for his coach alone and i would chase him if he had no coach ability at all he's that good and that fun uh i'm gonna say i'd probably place him in the top three tricksters in the game um he's got a pretty varying move set uh, which we'll talk about later. His coach is super good at 15k green moves, starting MP reduced by three for your opponent. Uh, that's going to be super useful in feud against the Zombie Bryans, Keith Lees, and Promoter Charlottes. Um, so he would be worth chasing for that alone. Um, and his his move sets are really good. I'm gonna have three of them for you: uh, a five star, a four star, and a three star. I'm going to start out with the 4-star. I think this is the moveset most people are going to think is the best. Um, it's really good, really strong, and uh, I'm not sure it's my favorite. I think the last one is my favorite, so stick around for the last one. Uh, it's going to surprise a lot of people how uh, well it can play, I think. Um, that being said, let's get in here and take a look at this first build. Um, mutated scoop power slam 9 mp purple deal 41k damage and choose seven gems to destroy mutated double underhook pile driver 8 mp green deal 39k damage and steal up to 340,000 health he is the health steal king uh, mutated spinning heel kick 7 mp green deal 34k damage and gain eight purple mp for the Entourage, we're going to run with Steel uh, for four more green MP to start. Uh, Zombie Brian for 31% more health steal. And um, Zombie Balor for 10% more health steal. Also, um, I'm using Zombie Rock for 75% more health steal. Uh, so that gives me 735,000 total. That's more health than the Swiss Cyborg has. Uh, if you don't have Zombie Rock, no big deal. Um, you have another option except I hit the wrong button. The other option is Trickster Roman. And even without Zombie Rock, um, the health steal is still ridiculous with Trickster Roman. You are still at 650,000, so it's quite big. Um, also, if you wanted to know what the health steal looked like with all health steal trainers, say you wanted to use them as a hot tag or something, um, you're looking at 900,000 damage health steal at 5-star bronze, which is pretty crazy. Anyway, enough about that. Let's get on the road. I'm going to switch my opponents up. I'm going to start with the AJ. He's strapped. I am not strapped. Uh, and I have zero tour perks. So no extra starting MP, nothing. Zero tour perks. So I need a green match to do anything. I have it on turn one, which is perfect. You notice AJ has 740,000 health because he's strapped. He's got more health than we do. Um, and we're going to steal pretty much all of it right here, and the match is going to be over. Um, so I want to say you could run him double fury. You could run him takedown. Um, you could run him double armor. You could run him vitality. Really flexible in the metal sets you could run. Um, for the plates, the best, I think, by far would be the glowing phantom phenom to help you recycle. So right now I have enough greens to fully recycle. But if I didn't, and you had the glowing phantom on, uh, if I broke three purple um, and four greens, it would fully recycle the green. Uh, both green moves. So that's an option. But because I have them all, I could just click all the greens and we'd be doing it all over again. Uh, but the match is over. 
So, yeah. Incredibly strong. Incredibly strong moveset. Um, a lot of fun. Uh, potentially, you could, if you had the glowing uh, Phantom Phenom, you could go double green in Feud. Um, and then look to recycle off of the Choose to Destroy. And if you had the glowing Phantom Phenom, I think that would be probably feasible. Um, otherwise, you're looking at taking some damage and then healing, which is not the end of the world because you're going to heal a bunch. So, next move set is his 5 star. It is completely gem damage based. So, I'm going to go against Vader because he does not have a strap. Uh, and fully gem damage based builds really struggle to show how good they are if, if you don't have a strap on them. Uh, so, we're going to change out two moves. We are going to bring in the five star move, the mutated um, falling inverted suplex. That's a mouthful. Eight MP purple. And we are going to bring in the one MP yellow. We're going to keep that uh, gain purple MP move. So we got the mutated falling inverted suplex 8 MP purple deal 46k damage and convert all silence gems into cross break gems. Um, we still have the mutated spinning heel kick. You guys know what that does. And then the new move we brought in was the mutated gorilla press slam 1 MP yellow deal 3k damage and choose five gems to make into silence gems. For the entourage on this one we're going to run dual MP trainer uh, so we can get started right out the gate. So Tyler Breeze is going in with his two more green MP. And then we're going to look to get an extra silence gem with Gargano. That's the big reason for that one. So we're choosing six. And then Lacey to buff the gem damage. Purple and green gems do 20% more. So this build uh, definitely is a double fury kind of build. Uh, for the plates, you have options. Uh, either glowing phantom phenom and I believe the other one is the smoke the break blue get three blue get three purple um, You want anything that fills the green or the purple that'll help the recycle uh, quite well So this is gonna be like I said a, a hard move set to show how good it is because it's gem damage based But it is pretty 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 solid uh, build um, you just need a match vertical or horizontal and you're always going to have a match in the game. So after that you want to pick up as many greens and purples as possible to recycle. There's a five match down here. I don't really care about it because we're blowing up uh, the majority of the board anyway. Um, so that's that. So top row's got two purple. We got a green here. We got two green here. And some purple bunch here those are some really good rows this one's pretty garbo for us so we're gonna go like that and uh, make sure we put this on the red one and do this right because i'm talking and we're gonna fill our purple move turn everything to cross breaks and blow up the board except for this one lonely row down here so you can see why strapped this would do a lot more damage. And even as it is, we did 220k. Um, did get a recycle on the green, which is perfect, so we can do it all over again. If you recycle the purple and the green, hold the green back um, in case you don't recycle on the next one. Um, it looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll have enough to recycle this time, too. Again, the plates would make it so you never don't recycle. Uh, if you have one of those two plates, you'd be fine all the time. So we got our match here. So you can go up and down or side to side. It doesn't matter. It's a very easy to set up. Of course, you could go with more Silence Gems um, if you didn't need Breeze to be turn one. Um, you could also go with um, Slick Rick for more gem damage at 20%. Those would be options. 
You can see we recycled the purple. Uh, 185k that time. And the Cascade King can't kick out. So that's that move set. Now, for this last one, I'm going to go with someone with more hit points. Um, this, to me, would be uh, how I would feud with him, uh, this move set. We're going to use uh, double yellow and the finisher. And uh, this is my favorite move set, actually. And this is available at 3 star, actually. It's pretty fun. So we got that finisher, the Mutated Cesaro Swing, 10 MP purple finisher, deals 64k damage plus 30,000 bonus damage for every silence gem. The Mutated Pump Handle Back Suplex, 7 MP yellow, <clears throat> excuse me, deal 29k damage and make 10 silence gems into purple gems. The pin bar will not move. That is clutch. And then we're still using that 1 MP yellow. Deal 33, uh, deal 3,000 damage and choose 5 gems to make into silence uh, gems. For the entourage, we're going with double yellow MP trainers. We're going to use Beth and Kofi. So we start turn 1. We're going to keep Gargano and Lacey in. Um, you could, instead of Lacey, make your life a little bit easier uh, and put like... Uh, Andrade in for 25% higher chance of purple gems or um, uh, Trickster Zombie Sasha at 9k also is 25% more purple gems. You could do that instead of Lacey uh, practicing. I didn't have any trouble uh, pulling off what I wanted to without the extra purple gem. So let's see if that's the case now that I'm filming. Probably won't be. We're going to go against Piper because he has a boatload of hit points. Um, for this one, uh, either double fury or double armor. I think I'd be inclined to go double armor, um, because the finisher to keep them down, uh, cheap shot is good, but the, um, time once again, break purple, get yellow would be insanely clutch plate for this one. Uh, with that plate, what you could do would be crazy. So what makes this so good is, um, if you set up two five matches, you get uh, two turns. Now, two bonus turns. If you are lucky enough to be able to manipulate the board and um, get a yellow match, then you can get three sets of... Um, yellows or silence gems down and do a crazy amount of damage on turn one um so i'm talking and not playing right so apologies let's go that route for two there's lots of different um five matches so it's no problem to get the two matches i am just trying to see if um I can clip a yellow too. And also, if we had the glowing, or not the glowing, the time once again plate, it would fill the silence gem move up. But if you clip a yellow, you can get three sets of silence gems down if it goes well. Sadly, I didn't, but that's okay. Um, so, what you do is you have two matches to go. So, there's one. There's our second one, so we can put our silence gems out again. And like I said, if you clip the yellow, you get three sets um, for a lot of damage. I'll do a couple matches this way probably, so you can see why I like it so much. Um, and you're also recharging um, your move a lot faster too, because of those extra turns. And the finisher is so cool.
you can see, uh, that's almost 500k, um, unstrapped against a strapped opponent. And he can't kick out. And, uh, when you get three of them, well, well, let's see if we can get three of them. Then I won't have to tell you. You can see. This has been a fast preview and it's fun, so I'll do a couple. Then this is the set I would use for feud, because this would be ready to go turn one in feud. Cesaro is going to be um, best trickster on so many people's roster that get him. Uh, I like him so much, I'll tell you right now, I have Gooker, and I think he's better than Gooker. So we have an easy five match there. We have an easy five match here. I'd rather try and leave some yellows, though, to see if I can clip a yellow. That is, that would be perfect, but I need one more purple gem. Um, so you could also take Lacey off and put like Hall of Fame Hogan. That would make it even easier too. Um, but, you know, you can't get the, the best setup every single time. Let's just get this done. Uh -huh. And see what happens. Hopefully I'll cascade and drop a yellow. Yeah, just like that. So when you get the yellow, now you get to have loads of fun. There's one turn. We've refilled the pin bar doesn't move. Um, so we can hit that again if we want. Which I suppose there's no reason not to. So why not? It actually probably was less damage this way <laughs> than if I wouldn't have done the move again. But I should have um, one more turn. Unfortunately, oh no, we're good. I got black over here. Okay. No cascade. Perfect. I believe the finisher should wipe his health out. It's going to be close. Just about 640k. And I'm playing all these matches in a row, guys. I'm not, like, specially picking them. Uh, he was doing this... Uh, he was doing this when I was practicing with it, too. So we'll just do one more. All back-to-back, -back, no cuts. I'm super excited for this month. And uh, especially for Cesaro. He's not the trickster we deserve, but he is the trickster we need. Make our two five matches. Gonna drop this one down here and get the yellow. Perfect. That's this is exactly the kind of board um, or the kind of setup you want. 
Then it doesn't really matter. Uh, I like to stay towards the top, though. Um, less likely chance of a cascade here. Get rid of the wild card. Take our two turns. There is a yellow there, but it also hit the green. Um, match in six. So I'd rather not. Although unlucky cascade with the purple, but still plenty of pin bar room. And here's the third set. And now we get to set up the big boom with the finisher. Six hundred and seventy-seven thousand damage. Turn one, infutable. So there you guys go. Uh, Cesaro, the Swiss cyborg. I am all in this month. Uh, I hope you guys are too. I hope you can get him. I uh, love to hear what you guys think. Which move set's your favorite? The health steal's ridiculous. This move set's awesome. You can blow up the board on turn one with the other one. He's got tons of flexibility. Uh, really unique move sets in all three of them. Uh, so let me know what you guys think. I'd love to hear your comments. And remember to like, subscribe, and share as that helps me out. And be looking for my John Cena uh, preview. That'll be coming out tonight too. And uh, check me for all your champion stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. Good luck out there.